Hey guys, so today I'm doing a Halloween tutorial, my first Halloween tutorial. Uh, this is inspired by these tarot cards that uh, I think they're from Valentino. They came with like a, I don't know, like a perfume or something. So I'm wearing Desio contacts. They are rebel gray. Uh, Desio is that Italian brand that has my favorite colored contacts. So pretty much anytime I wear colored contacts, that's the brand that I'm wearing. I'll link all the products down below because I'm not going to be able to like talk through every single little thing. Um, so I actually did a face chart before I, like the day before this, because I was like trying to come up with something. I wanted to do a witch inspired makeup look and then it kind of evolved when I realized that I had these tarot cards. I've been wanting to do like a purple and red makeup look for a really long time. As you can see, we started off with black. It got dark real quick. Uh, and I'll be totally honest with you, while I was filming this, I hated it the entire time. <laughs> like literally from this moment, I was like, I've made a gigantic mistake. Like, I just don't think I'm gonna end up liking this. But I kind of like stuck with it and just tried to lean into it, I guess. Um, and I mean, and then I would say like, it probably takes like two thirds of the way for me to actually like enjoy it. The whole time I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work out, but <laughs> uh, I actually think that the, the finished product is really cool which I haven't shown you, I saved it for the end, because some people said that showing it at the beginning, I mean, I guess you saw the thumbnail, but should that showing it at the beginning kind of like ruins the reveal. So I don't know, whatever. Let me know uh, like if you care at all about that. I actually did want this to be a talk through, but uh, my voice has just been like messed up recently. So I just like saved it for a voiceover. So I'd have like a few more days to kind of recover. Anyway. I don't know what to talk about with this. You know, it's, it's funny because like I, okay, so tarot cards. <laughs> I actually have no idea what I'm calling this video yet because I'm not into astrology at all or tarot cards or any of that stuff. Um, but I thought it would make like a cool Halloween costume or idea or whatever. And obviously like this ends up being kind of intricate. Uh, it took probably a little over two hours, maybe two and a half hours for me to actually do this whole look. Also, I mean, I didn't plan it, you know, like I'm literally just like coming up with stuff as I go. So if you're following this as a guide, it might be a little bit easier to, you know, like a little bit faster to do. Um, but you can obviously leave out a bunch of, I don't know, like a bunch of steps if you want to just kind of like simplify and use this as more of like a, just like a basic whatever. At the end, or I guess once again, you've seen the thumbnail. But at the end, you'll see uh, I, I bought this like platinum bob wig, which was kind of hilarious from Amazon. Um, because if I wear like I have a pixie and if I wear a hat, it just my hair disappears. So I was like, I'll get a wig. Um, and then I got this like witch hat again from Amazon. So I don't know. That's probably useless information. But obviously all of that stuff is going to be linked because I thought it was actually really cute. I was trying to find some stuff that was more glam. I actually had these long like full length gloves to make it a little bit more glam, but they kind of like didn't match the uh, the hat. So I just said, fuck it. Uh, but yeah. yeah. I See, when I do these looks, I forget that I'm even filming them and I end up off camera, like completely. Like I end up just like down below where my lens even goes. There are like a couple times where I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably show you a product. And then I show you the product. The blush part, okay. In my face chart, I had mostly color and like a lot of like there was a focus on the blush and it was like a combination of like vibrant reds and purples. And then I started going in the dark direction for whatever reason, like when I started this, I don't know why, but I still wanted to keep that blush and stuff. But like around this time, I was like, oh my God, I'm just making this so much worse. Like this is so awful. And then I was like trying to lean into the blush. It was a mess, you guys. Always like a creative any kind of creative look is I just I can't plan for them I can't I can't do it. I don't know why but I can't it just this has to happen and like either it ends up looking like shit And I scrap it completely which I was like around this point Well, maybe like a few moments before this I was kind of like I am gonna end up scrapping this entire thing like there's no way I'm uploading this uh, But it did kind of end up coming together. I don't know My skin was in a state I have to say if you saw my um, my video about like skincare mistakes that I wish I never made, 
I am in a place right now where I'm just not entirely sure how often I should be using certain products. And I feel like I'm not overdoing it. Like it feels like my routine is not overdoing it, but for some crazy how it is, I don't know. Uh, it's annoying that when my products, my prescriptions lapsed, I kind of like wasn't able to really reset back to where I was because I was doing great. Uh, so yeah, that's, I don't know, that's frustrating. This actually didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. Also, this little situation, so I'm doing like a little moon situation and then like a crescent moon, which I had planned on the original uh, face chart, which on the original face chart, I was gonna bleach my eyebrows, or not bleach them, but like, you know, fake bleach eyebrows or whatever. So, but I still wanted to keep it. But I wasn't thinking that like, I would end up looking like I have a unibrow <laughs> with those dark eyebrows. So, I don't know, maybe that's something to keep in mind. Um, I don't hate it, it's kind of like Frida Kahlo, like dopeness, but, and then I sort of like spocked out my brows here, but like, uh, I don't know, from like afar, it kind of looks like I have a unibrow. So I don't know if you want to like mess with that, or maybe you could put it up like a little bit higher. Uh, my wig and my hat were gonna end up covering most of my forehead, so I wanted to keep it like down low. Super stupid, like I said, nothing was planned, you know, it's just like, I don't know. It's therapeutic. It's super therapeutic. I love being able to just like listen to music or and something and just like, or something is what I meant. And just playing with a bunch of different makeup. Like I used a lot of, um, obviously I used the Danessa products. I love these Get Stoned jewels. Like they're amazing. Uh, I actually used like an old Pat McGrath palette because I want to, I just needed, I mean, she has so many of those like purples that I'll be honest, I hate that color purple, but I wanted to match the tarot cards. So that kind of like bluish, like cool toned, kind of like almost muted gray purple, like I hate that color. But there's like a bunch of those colors in a lot of her palettes, so um, I use those. Uh, what else can we talk about? I'm just putting on some jewels, man. Any excuse? I like after I did the little, uh, the little things around underneath my eyes, I was like, I need more of these. So I just kind of like threw them underneath my eyebrows. And then the lips grew a lot. Like I kind of you, okay. I was keeping in mind a lot of like the artists that I really enjoy because I've done a lot of like recreations from, um, like, oh, fuck, I'm not gonna be able to remember his name. Dustin Ballard, I think. So things like that, like those kind of like creepy, but like also kind of sexy, like females, uh, like illustrations that kind of like nymph-like, I don't, I don't know how to describe them. So I kind of kept that in mind uh, when I was doing this in terms of like shapes and, and I don't know. I, Cause I, I, I think I was kind of like on the fence about going full illustration or trying to keep it more like glam and realistic. <laughs> I was, I think that's part of, that was part of my problem. Uh, I used, I, these Auric lashes are like the biggest ones and I haven't used them for anything, but I thought they were perfect for this. So, wow, okay, great shot, like off screen. Um, I used the full ones, again, they'll be linked down below, but I used the full ones on the top and then the half lashes on my, my lower lash line. <laughs> this stupid wig. <laughs> Oh my god, like this cosplay type shit, I don't know, like, I guess that's what you would call it. It's just like, it's really fun, but it's also so uncomfortable. I hate wearing wigs. I don't know how people just like wear wigs. It's so awful. Uh, some little finishing touches here, you know, off screen, obviously. So these are the tarot cards that came with like a perfume from Valentino. And I was like, what the fuck am I going to do with these? But it inspired this makeup look that I think is really fun for Halloween. It's like glam but dark, you know, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you would be, if this is like the kind of thing that you would be intro into for Halloween, if you're doing anything for Halloween. I have no plans uh, at all. I love to dress up. I don't know, I'm boring though. I usually wear like, I'll put on like, I'll wear all black, put on some cat ears and do some like cat-like makeup. So boring for like actual Halloween. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what, I don't know, if you have any like, suggestions and um yeah i'll see you soon bye